All right, so as we get part one underway here, uh, what I thought I'd do, because uh, you, as you can see just in that picture, I have four separate toolboxes. Um, and uh, I thought that I'd kind of do a quick overview of just my space, uh, how I've organized things. Um, I like to use my garage to park my vehicles in. And so I kind of uh, take an approach of wanting to use vertical space, all my horizontal space, kind of uh, utilize the perimeter uh, so the, the center here can be used to protect the old vehicles. So uh, what I thought I'd do is just kind of um, start off with a quick pan of, of everything. Uh, and then what I'll do over the multiple parts is kind of dive into each one of the different uh, you know, toolboxes or kind of tool areas that I have and explain a little bit why I have it like that, how I've come up with it over the years. Um, you know, I'm mostly a DIYer. I don't do this stuff professionally. I literally am a guy that wears a suit and tie to work every single day. But on my weekends, I'm always wrenching on stuff, uh, trying to fix as much as I can around my own house. And I really just kind of grew up with the, you know, if it's broke, you got to fix it yourself mentality. So I have my, uh, my father to thank for that. So um, without further ado, I'm just going to start doing a real quick pan of the garage here. And guys, in, in the comments, you know, uh, this is my you know, first video and I'm just looking for some feedback on uh, the audio. Uh, I'm literally just using my iPhone 6S Plus and I'm sure it's not the highest quality sound, but I do have the video kicked up a little bit to the 1080p uh, at the 60 frames per second, which everyone's been recommending, so I went ahead and changed that in the settings. Um, but to get underway here, uh, what you'll notice first is I've got my little kind of storage area. Uh, really, uh, I've got you know a number of different um, you know cleaners, uh, supplies, motor oil, things that I use fairly frequently, uh, but need to kind of keep up and out of the way. Um, I got that over there. You'll probably notice over here the good old U.S. General tool cart. Um, that's about the best 160 bucks I've ever spent. Like everyone says, it really is a phenomenal tool cart. And um, I really kind of use that as overflow right now because I was running out of room and I got a cart and it holds so much more than I thought that, um, you know, it, it isn't being used to its full capacity right now. Uh, you'll notice next to it, I've got the other small cart. Um, that guy, um, I, I bought it maybe a year or so before and it's just, it's pretty small. It really works good to roll around the garage as I need it. But other than that, that doesn't hold a lot. Um, you'll also notice that I've got my ladder storage. I, I built uh, some racks on the wall to store my big uh, eight foot Warner, my six foot Warner. I have another little small yellow one there that I use inside the house. Um, my, my platform uh, uh, stool, so when I have to kind of work at a height for a, a little bit longer, it's a little more comfortable. Uh, you'll notice my pegboard wall there. That's not kind of some of my, you know, not heavily used tools, but things that I want to grab all the time. And I like to remember that I have them. Um, I'll do some more close-ups on those in a separate video and, um, uh, you know, kind of uh, go through it piece by piece just so you guys can see what I have. I uh, got my pegboard wall there. A lot of the uh, garden tools and kind of less used things, but I want to keep up and out of the way. And then you kind of move into my... Uh, main uh, workbench area and my toolbox zone, I guess you'd call it. Um, that workbench I built when I um, uh, built this house. And it started out just as, you know, four by four pressure treated lumber that we had some extra, um, built some, you know, framing um, and built the, the countertop. And then a couple of years after that, um, I decided to grab another sheet of MDF and laminate it and really make a nicer, kind of more smooth countertop for working on things. And I gotta tell you, I get a lot of, you know, really great comments from people on it saying it's just a nice little area to work on. Uh, I really have no complaints about it. Uh, built it to handle a couple of the rolling carts underneath it and some storage there in the middle. Um, and I plan to go through each one of those toolboxes, you know, little by little as we go. Uh, as we pan over here, you can kind of see in the distance my clamping area. Uh, you can never have too many clamps. 
And uh, when I actually go through that area, you'll see how many I really do have. Um, as I go a little further over here, you'll notice I have uh, some old cargo van um, shelving. I actually got those for next to nothing from a buddy who uh, was gutting out a cargo van and he had no need for them. And I was like, man, I'll, I'll grab those. Those are great tool shelves. And uh, if you, I mean, you'll see how much I have in those. Uh, they are worth their weight. Um, I mean, I've got so much stuff in there. You'll see on my organizers, I try to keep everything in its place so I always know where everything is. Uh, kind of more on my lighting area, flashlight area. Uh, as we pan over a little bit further, I've got some more storage. You'll notice I got, you know, some fishing rod areas. I am from the Pacific Northwest and I like to pretend like I'm a fisherman. Um, I'm not really good, uh, but I like to buy nice uh, supplies so when I go out there I have the best chance possible. And uh, you'll kind of see over some additional storage, some kind of lesser used things. I'm not, you know, a carpenter or anything like that, but you know, once or twice a year I will bust out the, the drill press to do a special project or, you know, the, uh, the skills, or excuse me, the, uh, the chop saw there. It works uh, for what I need it for. And then just a little bit of extra storage, uh, and I'll go through these racks uh, kind of, you know, a little more in depth uh, in the future. But in general, um, everything I've ever done on this house, uh, including a remodel um, that uh, my garage was used for, this space was used uh, in its entirety. I try to keep it comfortable. Um, when I pull this off the tripod and I show you a little more up close, um, you'll kind of see that I've got some carpeted areas over here. So uh, it's a little more comfortable to work on. I've got a nice pad in front of the bench. And um, I try to keep it uh, as an area that I like to come and, and uh, actually hang out in. Uh, sometimes I come out here and work on stuff and just listen to music. Um, uh, the occasional beer as well. Uh, and um, just like that would be a little bit of a retreat for myself. So anyhow, um, as I end this portion of the video, uh, just remember, uh, I've got more to come. I plan on doing multi-parts on all the toolboxes. It's going to be a little different, a little more up close, a little handheld um, um, phone holder. Um, and I'm really kind of looking for you guys to you know, comment, let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like. Um, no trolls, please. I am not claiming to be a professional. I just want to share and I've really enjoyed watching everyone else's channels and seeing what they have tool-wise. And I'll tell you, a lot of the tools that I have is because as I watch these videos, I'm like, oh man, that would be a great tool to have for fill in the blank, you know, whatever it may be. Um, and I bet you as you're going through here, you're like, oh, I, I've seen that before at, at, you know, at Sears or I've seen that on the, the Snap-on or Mack truck or Harbor Freight or, you know, wherever you might be buying tools. I also buy a lot of stuff that's a great deal on clearance at, at Lowe's or Home Depot. Some of those things that, I don't use all the time. However, I kind of like to be prepared and have it if I need it. And uh, I find that a lot of you guys are the same. Uh, you'll notice I, I have a touch of OCD when it comes to my tools and their storage. I do not throw my tools in a toolbox. I organize them in the toolbox. For me, that's how I can find them the easiest and remember what I have and where it is. Uh, I'm sure I'll get some comments on it. And I know that I always appreciate when I watch a toolbox tour or review when it's organized. But I will tell you, there's very few tools that I have that I don't ever use. Uh, there are some. My wife will accuse me of that all the time, having uh, more tools in the garage that I don't use than I do. But it's a hobby of mine, and I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy watching. So please uh, comment, like, and subscribe. and. Uh, Let's uh, let's get started.